hello guys it's your girl Rosman Dodovi and welcome to my channel today as you can see is step by step how I make my black eye beans still before I start I first of all cut some veg uh, fruit for the boys to have a snack before I start cooking before I did this video um, they were still like going to nursery but today the whole of this week they are off they are on half time so we have the whole week to spend together i don't know how i'm going to go through this week but i'm sure i can do it because we most of us are still under lockdown so i can do it i don't know i just have to find activities around them and we'll see how it goes so i first of all pick them from nursery as you uh, you saw i put the beans in the slow cooker whilst it's getting cooked I used 45 minutes in preparing the beans in the slow cooker because it was extra soft, which I love. And with uh, bean stew, you need the beans need to be very, very soft because you are going to make it in a stew form. You don't want to see like a chunk of beans in the stew. So you cook the beans separately before you make the actual stew. So this stage, Leonardas have picked his fruit, but with Ethan, he prefer me like uh, keeping the bowl of fruit whilst he comes back for one when he finished, which I was not in agreement with him this stage. So I was trying to convince him to take the whole bowl whilst he can sit there and have it. He will, but with him, you have to be consistent. Like you need to be consistent to let him know he needs to have the whole bowl. So that was what you saw me do. So at the end he did, he did take it, but it took a lot of persuasion to do. So after I'm done with that, I just go straight and check my beans. By now it was well cooked, it's soft enough. So the only thing I need to do is I need to blend my tomatoes, onion, garlic, and pepper. With this food, I don't add ginger to it. I don't know. I don't know. I've never added ginger to my black eye beans too. So I just blend the whole ingredient. As you can see, I'm just checking the beans. It's actually very soft. And with this food, you can actually have it with uh, potato, yam, rice, uh, plantain, or yellow plantain. I'm going to have it with yellow plantain. And I'm telling you guys, my kids actually love this food. And I'm going to make it in two portions. When we have one this night, the next day, maybe in the afternoon, they were, they are still going to have it for like lunch, and so which was good. So it was going to save me a lot uh, more stress. So that's what I did. I just took the onion, peeled it off, and the garlic, and everything in the blender blend it and that's how we grow so with this food it doesn't take too long the, i think the most difficult process is what has been done is the beans is the beans that take a long time but if the beans is well cooked the rest of the job is not difficult you just blend the whole ingredient after you are done blending it you just put uh any oil of your choice i with these two i normally like a uh, palm oil so the zombie one so i just put it on the fire to uh, put the fire in the medium heat whilst the oil is heated i just put the whole ingredient in it and i just stir it so with this i leave it for maybe 10 5 minutes and anyone who knows me before i cook i like to chop onion i like chunk of onions in my stew so i'm going to do it in the two portion one to start the stew with so before i finish the stew it's going to be melt so the second portion will be after i finish cooking this food and with this food it's good for vegetarian because it doesn't actually need meat or anything you can actually eat it that way but with me i am not a vegetarian Sometimes I do like eat vegetarian food, but I'm not a vegetarian. So with this food, I'm going to put, um, I have some leftover fish in the freezer. I'm going to just chunk it in it after I'm done cooking. And 
so guys tell me how your week went i hope you had a wonderful week and if you are still under lockdown wherever you are in the uk we are still under lockdown so we are hopefully thinking very soon everything will go back to normal it's not easy especially being stuck at home with kids nowhere to go nothing no activities it's not easy so let me know in the comment below and if you are new to my channel my name is rosemond dovi a mom to ethan and leonardas ethan is almost four and leonardas is sue so i do a uh, cleaning cooking skincare just motherhood stuff i'm not a perfect mom but it's a journey i'm taking i hope you enjoy my video and i would love you to be a subscriber so that would be nice and to my all subscribers thank you very much for subscribing to my channel i really appreciate it so please press the notification bell anytime i post a new video you'll be the first be notified and i hope you love this video give a thumb up if you do and enjoy this video So this stage, the only thing I'm left with, I just put my fish, my onion, and food is ready. With I didn't put the salt from beginning because uh, I cook uh, the salt with beans, a little bit of salt with the beans. So I didn't want to put salt in it to overshadow the whole food. You know how salt is in food. So after I'm done cooking, I just uh, check and I realize I need a pinch of salt in the food so i just put it in and i just drop my fish my uh, onion this stage you should know the food is almost ready so whilst it's on this you know low heat i just clean up after me i wash my dishes it's easier this way for me i don't have dishwasher i use my hand which is the local way of washing so it saves me more time because after we finish eating with me i feel lazy after i finish eating i think after i finish it i just want to like relax take my time for the food to digest so like standing and washing sometimes i just feel too lazy so this is the only way i can do it and with this i know when uh, it's time for the kids to have their shower after their shower and I don't have dish to watch, just to pack their toys over a mop and just relax and watch some movie. And I like to keep um, the kitchen clean. With the kitchen, with the sitting room, I sometimes pack the toys. I hoover about maybe not to mop. But with the kitchen, I always want to like hoover and mop and like leave the kitchen clean. Because in the morning when I come and I see it very clean, I'm just happy. It's not like happy, I know it's clean. I don't have to do anything in the morning. Just they have their breakfast and whatever I need to do, I just do it and that's it. So, with this food, as I told you, I'm going to have it with a uh, fried plantain. Mostly, I do my fried plantain, my slow cooker, uh, my air fryer. Sorry, not slow cooker, air fryer. But today, I just said I want to go the local way, just fry it with hot oil for it to be golden brown then i can enjoy it. this food my kids i think my kids and enjoy most food food with like like chips plantain beans 
they enjoy they are, i don't know which food i find it difficult for them to eat but so far i cook it for them they will enjoy especially plantain the yellow plantain have this sweet sweetness to it and so and every child love everything that is sweet maybe they think it's sugar but yellow plantain have this sweet in it so you just leave it on the fire to turn into golden brown when it's golden brown you just bring it out for the oil i use my paper towel to drain the oil a bit and we enjoyed it so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you try it as well if you've never tried it it's a nice food like it's yummy so try it and let me know and give a thumb up this stage is ready and this young man cannot wait he just push his high chair and told me he wanted to sit on it as soon as he sits on it i know okay it's time for him to have a supper and it was just cooling down so i just gave him his and i pushed him straight into the sitting room and sent ethan's one as well ethan just uh, you know there are some food i actually leave it for him and he can eat it by himself but with some food he will eat it but he will mess the whole place up and giving myself extra work i just consider look let me feed this boy and to keep a bit of work away so he will enjoy it he have always been independent especially with eating doing everything so i just let him be and took ethan's one to him Whilst they are just eating, I just come back and have my as well and just enjoy. So as you can see, I'm enjoying just pack some toys, not toys like their coat and their shoes. Sometimes they bring it to the sitting room to play with. I don't know what they are doing, but I just put it in the storage and I brought my food to enjoy as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm going to see you in my next one, guys. Bye.